Morrowind. Over a decade later, and I still find this to be the best Elder Scrolls game in the series. Now unfortunately, recent releases like Oblivion and Skyrim I have found lacking and not been even able to draw me in like Morrowind was. Now before we get into this retrospective, I want to say that I am using a graphics overhaul mod and not at the highest settings, but no matter what settings you use it on, it certainly makes the game look better. So please bear that in mind while we're showing the footage. Now on to the Elder Scrolls 3 Morrowind. They have taken you from the Imperial City's prison. First by carriage and now by boat. To the east, to Morrowind. Fear not, for I am watchful. You have been chosen. Wake up. We're here. Why are you shaking? Are you okay? Wake up. You are awoken by a fellow prisoner and informed that you will be released and free in Morrowind. This is where character creation starts. You have a couple of options for your hair, and of course you could play as a male or female, but there are plenty of races to choose from. From the High Elf, who is more inclined to being a mage, to the Red Guard, who is the opposite of fighter class. From there on, you are to get your identification papers and have different options to shape your character's minor and major skills attributes as signs and to really shape out the type of character you want to play with on your journey. As you move on and show your identification papers you are informed that the only reason that you are free is on the Emperor's wishes and that you must deliver an important package to a man named, to a man named Cassius in Balmora and you are let off at Siedonine to come to your task if you want. This is a very open game, but when you go to Balmora, you find out that Cassius is part of the Blades, and you get your fear first true objective, objective in the main story. I must confess that I did not get into the main story that far, only because I was sidetracked by the plenty of hours of entertainment that you can do besides the main story. From the different guilds, to the dungeons, to even just taking care of a couple of rats for somebody, or collecting a couple of mushrooms to make a potion that you need. This game has plenty of things for you to do and they really stress that you need to explore to get the full enjoyment out of this game and that is a good thing. My favorite side quest involved the Argonian that claimed he was a slave and that he needed to find somebody that was very nice to him and that was very sympathetic to the slave's cause. Only when you go help find him he turns out trying to kill the guy and then you then find out that he was never a slave and that he was just trying to kill him. You have two choices. You could intervene, you could try to stop it or you could just let it go or a third choice if you're me and kill them both. This game is very open ended and there is a plenty of things to explore. There are plenty of side stories to get lost in that will keep you entertained for hours and this is the one thing about the game that I really really love explore this game defines it like no other Elder Scrolls game in the series especially the modern Elder Scrolls games now on to the gameplay let's explain the combat system and this game is very different from more modern RPGs it is based on how high your skill level is and how much you train it that will determine your success for example, if you are a pure mage and you have a very low level in the skill short blade, don't expect to use it much or nonetheless win a fight with it. You have to train that level up to a decent level for you to be able to use it decently. And that's how this game works. So no, you will not be able to hit, every, hit everything every time you swing, swing, especially if you have a low level. And I personally love this combat system. Now this game really focuses on exploration. There is no fast travel, so most of the time you will be walking on your feet. There are stilt riders that will take you to certain cities for a price, but most of the game is done between you walking. For example, you will get an objective to go to this area, but it's not marked for you on the map. You have notes in your journal that, that will direct you. You have to go from west from so and so, east from so and so, 
to get to this spot. And this really lets you explore the game and the great and the great atmosphere that this game brings to you. And I personally don't like the about new RPGs, the fast travel system. I want to get to the explore the world and walking around and see the environments and especially the dungeons, the many enemies and the secrets that I could find in the game. And this really, really lets you do that. There are plenty of things for you to do. There are plenty of dungeons for you to conquer or run away from because you're not high enough level yet. And this game is very great when it comes to gameplay. But what really helps the gameplay out is the atmosphere. I mean it. From cities like Vivek, Gnar Monk, Mok, or Balmora, to even looking at the stars at night. The graphics in this game might not be the greatest, but they are very beautiful to me because they flesh out the world very, very beautifully. And they really bring you into the game. And it really makes you want to explore every inch on the map till you can explore no more and that's what I did plan on doing but it's going to take you a long time to do it so prepare yourself for a trip because there are plenty of cities in this game and there are plenty plenty of dungeons to to go into and there are plenty of things to see but take your time take it slow and enjoy the atmosphere that this great game has presented to you now nothing completes this great atmosphere without the music and I must say the soundtrack to this game is amazing. But don't take my word for it. Let me play you a couple of clips in the music you will encounter in this game and see for yourself how amazing it is. Overall, I'm at a loss for words when it comes to Morrowind. I had a blast playing this game back in 2005, and almost a decade later, I had a blast replaying it just like I did almost 10 years ago. This game really pushes exploration like no other modern Elder Scrolls game. The developers have laid out this beautiful world for you to explore, and they want you to explore every nook and cranny, and that's what I intend to do because I still have some playing to do, and, I, and even though I, I played this game twice, and dozens and dozens of hours put into it overall. There's still lots for me to do and lots for me to see. And that's why I recommend this game to anybody. It's cheap, it's easy to find, and let me tell you, it is the best game in the series in my opinion. Hope you enjoyed this retrospective. Have a good day and stay tuned for more.